Hey, it's Matt. I'm back with another transparent watercolor. This time is uh, some caricatured fish. This is a 7 by 10 inch transparent watercolor. After my previous painting, which took, you know, 30 plus hours to paint, I wanted to do something quick and loose and kind of have some fun with it. So this ended up moving to the top of the uh, to-do list. First, I transferred the main parts of the sketch and frisketed that off and then did a wet on wet wash for the background colors. Once I had those established I spritzed in uh, some sandy textures and some splashes into the background to make it a little bit lively. And uh, I had the main things frisketed off but I had some other areas that I was just going to kind of paint in a little more loosely some of the corals and things that were going on in the kind of foreground part of the painting. A lot of this was done with a number two round brush. I was just making up the colors, what I thought would go well with the uh, fish eventually. It's kind of no rules with these paintings. As long as the lighting makes sense and the textures make sense, it's, uh, it's all good. Once I was happy that those basic things, I ended up transferring the rest of my sketch to the paper and dropped in the lightest local colors for each of the objects. previous paintings I didn't have a whole lot of foreground or other elements other than the fish and uh, on this one I thought oh, I'll do kind of just a coral reef kind of scene just so they had a little bit more environment to kind of exist in and thought it'd be fun to bring in some of those crazy colors into the other objects rather than just the fish. I think I did most of these cartoon fish doodles. Boy, it has to be over a year ago. Um, probably a year and a half ago, and I just was, uh, the kids, we were at a hotel and the kids were swimming in the pool and I did a bunch of these sketches for them. And as I did them, I didn't really have a thought of what colors they'd be. Um, I kind of, once it comes time to do the actual painting, I think, well, it's going to work for these. and trying to figure out what's going to show up well against the blue background and uh, for the water and then just what kind of suits the personality of the, uh, the individual fish. the red and white kind of spotted fish I was not sure what what color to do that guy and I ended up uh, taking the sketch and scanning it in and trying a couple of different colors in Photoshop to see what was going to look right and partway through I thought of uh, I I saw a picture that my son had done of a, a goldfish that had that red and reddish orange and white pattern I was like Timmy had the right idea that, that fish should be that kind of color. Um, so I gave that a quick try in Photoshop, and I was like, yeah, that's what, that, that, I think that'll work best. So I ended up going with that sort of look. It was fun. With the corals, I didn't want to be terribly literal with uh, what they were going to look like. I was like, well, you need some brainy kind of coral looking thing, and then some of the uh, more antlery looking corals. So I just kind of doodled a whole bunch and then picked the ones that I thought looked good and kind of figured a way to put them all together and have them kind of sit on the page in a way that made sense. Lately, 
in the painting, I spent a lot of time just rendering all the little bubbles. And uh, those are always fun to paint because they have little reflections of all these other things in the painting. You know, so it'll be a little reflection of the orange fish, the red fish, the green fish. You know, it's just, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. It takes a while, but it's, uh, it's kind of fun. At this point, I think I was just finishing off all the little details on the bubbles and the fish and pretty much ready to call it quits. So there you go, a 7 by 10 inch um, transparent watercolor of some caricatured fish. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, have a peek at the blog and the website.